right, Mountain Warriors here, 2020, our first trip of the year, uh, a little earlier than we expected. We got to get out for a few days, uh, got down there on March 17th, and the trip lasted until March 20th. We have already posted multiple videos from this trip, and there was a lot of footage that we did not release because mainly we try to make them into specific episodes about one thing, but there were a lot of different clips that we didn't know how to make it in one video, so that's why this is just going to be the March Smoky, Great Smoky Mountain March trip recap, talking about all the stuff we saw and all of the different experiences that we're just going to put into one video that we, already, that we haven't already covered in a video uploaded so far. So the first day we were there, we took a trip down to Cade's Cove, but on the way we stopped at this creek spot in particular. That was a very good creek spot. This is actually, yeah, this is a this was a good one. There was a really deep spot. There was a great spot where the water was flowing, the white water, you could see how deep it really was and how it was pretty clear. And that's where we saw the centipede, or the millipede, sorry, and we got that footage out. Or it actually was a centipede. We got the centipede footage, and we put the GoPro in the water. We really didn't see anything at this spot, but that was mostly it. We really wish we could have dove in and filmed closer because really all you can see is just the water from far away. And the water was up a little bit, which leads to the reason the water is a little more crazy than it usually is. Yeah, these this was a spot that was right off the road. Um, this trip here, we had envisioned doing some swimming, um, which as you will see as this goes through, we got into the water. Um, it was definitely bone chilling cold. So we tried to film and do as much as we could uh, near the waterways, on the trails. Um, and this one here was definitely a nice scenic spot. Like Kenny said, it was up more than normal. And we believe in the summer here when we stop to go swimming, these a couple of these holes look to be 8 to 12 foot deep. So we will definitely be able to get into these areas and hopefully get some good footage for everybody. Yeah, this is definitely a very beautiful spot, especially from that shot you see right there with the water flowing. And then we moved to Cage Cove, which you can discuss now. Yeah, Cage Cove is one of our favorite spots. We try to go to every trip. Um, it's uh, an area that's got a lot going on. It's got an 11-mile loop around it uh, with plenty of stop-offs, plenty of trails, plenty of ways to get the waterways. And uh, we got to go there this trip and saw uh, some wild turkeys, a um, couple other things going on. And we got to this trail spot here, Cooper Road Trail. Uh, we did the small one, the wet bottom trail. is probably the smallest trail we've ever done. Um, we've done some heavy ones, some big ones, and uh, we look forward to hopefully doing this summer the one that uh, I have my stick pointed to there, Beard Cane <laughs> Trail. Um, but we did go on this 0 0.2 uh, little walk here um, that looped us around to where our car was in an open field, and uh, we got to see some nice uh, spring bloom things going on and um, did not see any animals on this trip. Thought we saw a couple of uh, potential bears, but they were not. And then we moved on to the next part of Cage Cove, which was in a kind of marshy, swampy area off a trail. And this is where we saw some tadpoles. We saw one actually evolved. We heard some frogs, didn't really see any. And then we saw something, which I guess we might as well bring it up, where we can show a picture of a what seems to be a dead frog. And then I don't even know how to explain it. You can just see the picture yourself. And if anyone's watching this, and you think you know what this is, please let us know down below because it's an absolute mystery to us. We've looked up so many things. It looks like a netting type thing. And then the frog just looks like it's dead and mossy. We touched it. It didn't move. And that was really the big mystery of the trip. But the water was definitely up. It was over some roadways that we drove through. And it was also into the marshy areas like Kenny was talking about there with the frogs and the tadpoles and things. Um, so you had a lot of different uh, swampy areas that may not be there all year, but they were there uh, while we were there in March. Uh, a lot of tadpoles and frogs were probably um, evolving at that point into what, you know, just for the year or whatever they're going to do. And that frog that he saw that looked dead, I think it may have been something that was more dormant. Uh, but we are open to a lot of uh, different answers on that one. It was definitely something that was weird. Um, there was all kinds of live frogs around singing, but this one here definitely looked dead to us. Yeah, then the next part on the way home from Cades Cove, because we really didn't see much wildlife there, was this creek spot, which is one that I was determined to swim at, and we tried our best, and we just could not. And this was going to be a creek, creek exploring part four or five, but it just did not happen. But it's definitely a really cool spot, the, from what you can see, it was a great spot to get in the water, gradually get in. And then as you'll see, the rock structure across from the creek looks really cool. 
And it was just a great scenic spot without even getting in the water. But obviously, we like to get in the water. And then I think the main thing to point out about this spot is when you, Barry, put the uh, GoPro in the water. We put it in a bunch of times. We really didn't see much. But in particular, one time you put the camera in the water, we saw what might be the biggest fish we've ever seen in these creeks ever in our lives. Because usually they're pretty small. But as you see from this one shot, there is an absolutely massive fish. You can see the belly of it kind of shine. And then that's basically all you see. Yeah, I, basically this was a nice spot again that was uh, near the roadway that we just pulled off. Uh, there was a flash of the fish that we definitely got a glimpse of. Now the water being so cold because we couldn't swim, we didn't see a lot of what was being filmed at the time. I kind of just stuck the, you know, I st stood out there as far as I could in the water and I put the camera down and just filmed for a few minutes to see what we could catch. It's obviously a beautiful spot, like Kenny said. Uh, the water's clear. Uh, it's running. It's it's bone cold. That's why we couldn't get in anymore. But we look forward to this summer coming back to this spot and doing some more swimming and looking along the rocks to see what's there. Um, but this fish here just flashed his belly up because he's sitting in the rapids of the water. There's a lot of current and flow with this water that's very strong. And these fish kind of try to sit in places to where they can catch debris or different things that they can eat floating down the, the stream. Um, but this was a quick glimpse of something that we hope to maybe find this summer. And uh, definitely was an enjoyable, uh, pretty spot, which there are plenty of in the Great Smoky Mountains. And then that was basically it for this for that spot. And then the next day, I believe this is the next day. Next day we went to a trail <coughs> where we actually started filming the workout video, which is already posted. And we filmed that video along the trail then we saw some salamanders along the way and then we finally made it to what was really we thought was going to be creek well we explored some creeks along the way and then we made it to supposedly what we really thought was going to be creek exploring parts four on but we found uh one of many spots that was very secluded uh no one else was around and uh, was definitely up more as far as the water flow. So you had a lot more pools and they were a lot deeper. Uh, so even though we had thought we weren't getting in, we made one last effort to uh, get into the water, which we did, but still could not swim to the point that uh, we will in the summer. And uh, we got some nice footage of some really nice areas that hopefully we'll get to get back to. Um, but plenty of spots where uh, we saw some crawdads and uh, things like that. Yeah, this is definitely, this is the spot where we were really determined to get in, and you'll see a little footage of me almost dying here, because I tried my best, I tried to put my face in the water, but trying to get into this water, and now we've came to the realization that you can only swim in this water if it is really hot. It, it doesn't matter if it's hot, if it's warm, it has to be extremely hot to get in this water, because I tried, and my breath was just taken away every time I put my face in the water. And we really didn't see anything at this spot, though. It looked like a great spot. We did our blind filming again, but we really didn't see anything. And it looked like a perfect spot. And you see me up to my waist there, just dying. And then... yeah, we were trying to put our heads in, uh, trying to put... We had goggles on that helped see things, but uh, it was hard to put your whole head in. Uh, this is also why we were investing into some swimming suits um, that will be, like, full body to hopefully keep us a little warmer. So where we can uh, not only last it a little bit longer, but in the early parts of the year like this here, um, hopefully we can get in and get some things filmed. Yeah, and this spot, like you see here, it looks like such a great spot. It looks like one we've been to in the past, one that looks similar to one we've been in the past and got a lot of great stuff. But nonetheless, it's still a really cool spot to look at. And then really, we kind of get out of the water and we start going to different spots along this same creek actually yeah, a little a little farther down we do a little more blind filming and that's where we actually catch some crawdads on film yeah, we, we found a lot of different good spots but uh one we'll get to here eventually um we see a crawdad which we could not see at the time from where we were but when the camera was dipped in was in a nook and cranny that uh, these crawdads seem to find as you can see here uh, we've got one stuck between two rocks and he's basically just kind of hiding out um, to where he is not caught into the current or the flow of the water. So he will stay safe down there in that crack as long as uh, an animal doesn't come and find him. And uh, I'm sure by then, especially at night, when I'm sure a lot of these animals come out as far as raccoons, otters, um, different things that eat these crawdads a lot, I'm sure he'll maybe find another place to hide under a rock. 
then we walked along the trail. Yeah, this is a nice uh, trail here that runs along the creek itself and uh, is nice for exercise, things like that. Yeah, and you saw in the little clip I get stabbed by a thorn bush, which that's a whole other story for another right. day. Uh, this here, we were inside of a stump area, which it's hard to see, but there was a bunch of bee activity. I don't know whether they were building a nest or what, but definitely was right next to the trail and could be potentially another danger that a lot of people don't think about in the Smokies. Yeah, then we went back to our hotel, and as you can see where we were filming this video, we went to the creek right behind our hotel, and we didn't have many, we didn't have too high of hopes looking at the spot, and we were just going in for more blind filming, because we weren't going to go in the creek, and we were walking along there, and we were able to get some good footage, got multiple shots of crawdads. We filmed one so far. There's a crawdad that kind of gets flushed out from our feet moving around, as you can see there. Um, but this was a nice little area, and it also gave us an opportunity, which we didn't catch on film as much, that we try to do every trip and hope that everyone else can do out there. When you go to these great parks, um, spend time enjoying them as far as nature and things like that. We got a whole garbage bag full of garbage out of there. Unfortunately, there's a lot of garbage around uh, always, so it's nice to take a little time to uh, you know, pay back a little something to the great experiences you get in the park to pick up a little trash and get it out of there. Yeah, then we get to this spot behind our hotel that there was this uh, cool different waterfall here. And then that's basically it. We didn't really get any other good <clears throat> footage there. Yeah, then the next part, we went to a part of the creek on our last day where we had previously, or you had previously seen otter swimming. And this is where we got the footage of the bats flying around. And we did more blind filming, of course. And we did actually catch a lot more fish activity on here than I thought we did. And you can see a good amount of fish. Obviously, if we could swim, it'd be so much better. But then, uh, for the most part, we get, I think we get one sucker fish on film. And then that pretty much wraps it up. We kind of get some minnows and items like that. And you see a fish there. But Yeah, this is the trail, the Sugarlands Trail. It's about a two-mile trail that is definitely good for exercise. Uh, nice scenic spots on the creeks. But it's also a lot of, got a little good swimming spots on the creek as well. A lot of things weren't hiding for sure. So hopefully we can come back and get a lot better footage come summertime. Yeah, I definitely think it was a decent little starter trip. One that we didn't think we were going to have. Um, we got to preview some things. Uh, got to set some things up. Uh, we definitely will be catching up with a lot more this summer. And uh, really looking forward to uh, not only doing that for some fun, but hopefully putting together some good nature things for the uh, clips for you guys. Yeah, and that uh, concludes the March Great Smoky Mountain March trip. But I hope you guys enjoyed this recap, and we will see you on another video. Mountain Warriors out.